during this fishing trip, I put an underwater camera on my line. This is some of what I saw throughout this day. Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we've got the two Jasons over from Manawatu and we're going to take them down to the south of the island to look for a couple of blue cod. Morning everyone. We're just making our way out past the island. We're heading down to a kingfish spot. Maybe look for some blue cod. Water's nice and clean so we'll definitely do some camera dropping. Let's see how we get on out here. After finding no kingfish marks, I decided to set the camera up straight away and get to camera dropping. It looks like today we've got excellent visibility, about 10 meters down to the bottom. And it didn't take long to see something interesting. We've got a massive blue Mau Mau and quite a good Trevally heading off behind him. We don't get to see blue Mau Mau very often out here, so it was really awesome to see a nice big one. as we continued to drift over the giant boulders, the leather jackets took their fill. After I saw some sign a bit higher in the water column, we moved the camera up to see what was going on, and we're greeted by this massive school of trevally. They do a second pass before heading back down into the gloom. Back above the water and I'm trying my hardest to hook a fish. And thankfully we've just hooked one. After a hard start to the morning, the target species popped into the boat. And it looks like this one was big enough to be taking home. With a quick bleed, the blue cod was ready to get on the ice, and we could head back down to the bottom now to see what's going on under the boat. After more leather jackets take their fill, we head closer to the bottom. On this occasion, we have a rare case where a butterfly perch has had a really good go at the lure. We were unlucky to not hook him there as he had it right in his mouth. Now if you thought that was aggressive, wait till you see the next fish. I just wanted to go back real quick and look at how crazy this bite is from this blue cod. He comes out of absolutely nowhere, straight in, and inhales the whole thing. And then he decides, yep, I'm going to have the head as well. Everything spreads out, and now he's off to attack the camera. And you can actually see the head in his throat while he's biting the camera. He then decides that he's going to hit it again. 
He doesn't have a care in the world as I let the line down, not knowing there's a fish on there. I pull the line up tight and the fish has already ejected the lure, despite it being halfway to his stomach. You can see him here, following along behind the camera as I wind it up, wondering what the heck had just happened. It's always interesting to watch these clips again as a sneaky crayfish is sitting in the rocks in the background. We raise the camera to about 6 to 7 metres off the bottom and get a great look at the huge boulder field that we're fishing over. Thankfully that morning breeze has died off after we get the camera up and at last a rod is bent over. We've been dropping jigs over a lot of reef, done a lot of filming on the bottom and really this is only our second decent fish of the morning. I will be getting the net out for this one, come to a favourite spot that has produced in the past, so uh, first drop straight into something, so I think we'll, uh, we'll get the camera down as well on this spot and we can have a look at what's actually going on down there. Since this fish is pulling a bit of line, you'd expect it to be something worth taking. Nice big bluey, I think. A real one. Nice. Right, though. That's a good one. Right in the corner of the mouth. There we go. That's a lovely blue cod. Cool, another nice one, big fat one this time. That got him. There we go, that's plenty of blood coming out. As we jump back into the water, we put on a black magic tackle, Tarakihi Snatcher. As we fall through the layer of leather jackets high in the water column, We've hit the very edge of the rock where the sand meets it. This is a prime area for all sorts of species as you'll see here. It seems that touchdown has attracted a nice kingfish. Not a huge one, but a lovely fish all the same. And somehow we've managed to land right on the top of an old cray pot. We seem to have got the perfect drift along the edge of the reef and lots of different species are now popping up. Amongst the butterfly perch, we have a splendid perch, which is a much, much rarer variant of the butterfly. They are an absolutely stunning colour. You can't quite see how crazy their colours are this deep down, but it's awesome to see one. As we move along the reef, we finally have our first blue cod coming in, and he's immediately onto the bait. As we head away from the rocks and onto the sand, our species are replaced by goatfish and blue cod. And just above them, a barracuda. And surprise, surprise, more kingfish. Back topside and I'd hooked up 
finally to one of these blue cod. It had taken quite a bit of time to get a bite. Possibly. Oh, yep, that's in, I think. Oh no, he's made the decision for me. <laughs> he wasn't a huge one, he was just on the edge of legal. We move on out a bit deeper and head down to a depth of 40 meters. You can see here just how easily a blue cod gets a bait into his mouth and completely down the throat. He shakes it out however and is back off to the bottom. He does come back for a quick peek at the sinker. But after that quick bite of the sinker, he decides that maybe the bait was the best thing after all. And if you're wondering why he ejected that bait so fast, here are the culprits. After dodging those two kingfish, he returns to play with the sinker once again. We're currently sitting about 8 metres off the bottom and 50 metres depth. Far below the bait, you'll see kingfish, some big blue moki, and a few snapper hanging around. We don't really get to see blue monkey too often, so it's a really cool sight to see some massive ones swimming past. And right as they move along, we have a school of snapper coming right up to the baits, and quite a big blue cod. Something tells me I need to put a hook on my sinker. We've moved a bit along the coast now, and we're heading down to one of my favourite blue cod spots. I've never seen it with such good visibility, so let's see what happens. Okay, well let's have a look at just what went on here. Almost immediately we've got multiple blue cod on the baits, and that first one got it in his mouth and he's got a big one right behind him trying to steal the bait. There's just so many down there, it's pretty hard to keep up with how much the camera's getting ragdolled around. But as we finally become stable, we've got so many blue cod fighting over the baits it's not funny. This one in the middle has got hold of the smaller one and the big one is trying to take it. We even get a look at the blue cod barrel roll. So as we finally come to the end of all that craziness, our blue cod have managed to get hung up in the bottom. When I have this heavy heavy camera rod down, it's very hard to tell if there's fish biting or if there's fish on the line. So once these blue cod sort of drift over this little patch of rock, the camera gets stuck in the bottom along with the sinker. Thankfully it's the part of the line I can break and not the top of the camera. So it's going to take a little bit of time for me to work the camera out of the bottom. I was pretty nervous on the surface that I was going to lose it entirely, but we worked on it and we managed to pull it out. There we go, got it out. Oh. 
With that camera scare out of the way, it was back to dropping jigs down on the light rod. And it wouldn't take long before that rod was loaded up. We head back down just off to the edge of this spot and are greeted by two kingfish on the way down. We land on the sand and I wonder what's going to happen this time. Almost immediately these more blue cods showing up with that same big blue cod that we hooked last time and lost. As one has a go they're beginning to ramp up in aggressiveness once again and this sparks the other blue cod to get a move on and start feeding. My two mates finally joined me after doing a bit of fishing a bit to the south of me. We've all got a couple of blue cod each, so we're all keen to fish this part of the coast and see if we can catch a few more. However, that's all that we have time for this week, so you're going to have to wait till next week to see how we get on.